Hey guys, uh, this will be the end of week 25 in game, so we're almost at the six month mark. And uh, yeah, some stuff has happened this week, not all of it good. Uh, we went 0 and 3 in Grand Arena. Uh, in my defense, first player was 4.5 million GP, the second was 3.5, the last one was just shy of 2, and that one came down to some poor matchmaking decisions on my part uh, but the rest of them were kind of a case that I could clear a bunch of stuff and then I would just get steamrolled and um, there were a couple of teams that I was undersizing which was awesome but then there were a few teams that were taking me more than one attempt and on match two and match three against the three and a half mil and just under two mil uh, it did come down to both of us getting full clears and me just being less efficient. Uh, but I will not get uh, completely put down by it. Uh, some good stuff happened this week as well. Uh, I'm currently working on POW in the shop because I have finished Hot Rebel Scout. He is up to level 85 and 7 stars. And I've slotted him into the Mon Mothma team in place of Biggs. So that should feed it a bit. And on the subject of Mon Mothma, she'll be the target of my next Zeta. I'm going to put it on to her unique, the one that makes her really hard to target. Because uh, I have a feeling, I haven't been able to actually check, but I have a feeling that every time Mon Mothma has been beaten on defense, if it's been a close match, it's because they've been able to target her. Uh, I say close match because there's probably a bunch of times where they just went in with something twice the GP and just smashed it. Uh, which I'm sure will still happen, but eh, what can you do? Uh, as you can see, Sanastaros' leadership got a Zeta uh, this week. It's been a pretty big difference maker on that team. That team feels really strong now. Um, I can go in with them on offense, sometimes with just the three. With just Sana, Stormtrooper Han and Cara Dune, And it gets work done. More often than not, I bring farm by Luke because it's almost a guaranteed stun on a special because she gets a 100% crit chance from Santa. Uh, in terms of other stuff we obviously got Luke to gear 12, we got Cash into gear 12 this week. Uh, we're still waiting on the ability mats to get the Raven's Claw passive where you get around taunts as long as you have foresight and I've just been really careful to not accidentally spend uh, those materials on something else it happened once already and i'm not letting it happen again uh that happened we got the tie advanced to level 85 we're moving on to the hound's tooth and we're going to try and build up our bounty hunter ships a bit more uh so that i can get hans millennium falcon up to six stars which would be pretty nice uh in terms of where my resources are going on characters i'm actually dumping into bam at the moment he's still only like level 60 I believe yeah uh, 62 uh, just because I want the ship to be good uh, to get through that Chewbacca or not the Chewbacca event the Millennium Falcon event um, and we got Mara Jade to 7 stars I haven't decided what's gonna go in her place on farming yet uh, so I, I'll probably find myself with a little bit of an energy surplus for a couple of days maybe I'll use it on gear um, we've we're, we haven't figured that out yet. But lots of stuff are happening. Uh, and we're getting there. Um, we're getting our asses kicked in everywhere except Fleet Arena still. But we're not going to lose hope. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all i got for this week. Uh, thanks so much for listening. If you're enjoying the content, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I'll see you next time.